Hey there, this is a very short video to answer this question. What is the difference between C8 and other MCT oils, other MCTs? And what I have here is two studies, one from 2019 and one from 2017, from a researcher, a researching group in Canada, um, headed up by Stephen Kunan. You may have heard him if you're into ketones research. Um, he's done a lot on ketone metabolism with brains and areas like that. And Really, the takeaway we've taken from this is C8 MCT is three times as effective at creating ketones as other MCTs. And I'm going to walk you through why. Let's start with this chart here uh, for the 2019 study. And this is looking at blood ketones on the axis beta hydroxybutyrate. This is what you track with your home meters at home. And the purple line is the C8 MCT, and the yellow line is the mixed MCT oil. Now, mixed MCT oil, what is it? If you see in a shop, um, or if you see any product which is marked MCT oil along it, uh, on its own, then basically is it a mixed MCT oil. That means that it contains a mixture of different types of MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, which would be C8, C10, and C12, typically in varying amounts. Now, typically you will have like maybe 60% C8 and 40% C10 or some other combination. Uh, some of them have up to 6 or 8% uh, C12 as well. So what we see here is the mixed MCT oil isn't getting up quite as high and the C8 is getting up to around 0.5 millimolar in the beta hydroxybutyrate. So that's the first uh, takeaway um, that C8 versus the standard MCT oils you find in the shops is going to be doing something similar to that. Now this one is looking at a more detailed level. What it's doing is comparing C8 MCT with the purple line again with C10 on its own, so not a mixed most MCT oils have a mixture of C10, but this one just has pure C10, so it's separated to understand what C10 does on its own and what C10, C8 does on its own. And we also have coconut oil here in the green at the bottom. Now, the difference here is we have total ketones, so it's not a side-to-side -side comparison with this one, and that's why you see different values. It's total ketones, it's beta-hydroxybutyrate plus acetoacetate. So it's tracking both uh, two types of ketones here. And um, that's where you got a different value. Now, we can, of course, make use of both of those, so it's still relevant to us. Um, but we can track it on a blood meter. You're not going to be able to see this. Um, so what we see here is this is where we get the three times as effective in generating ketones because we see the difference between the purple line, the C8, and the red line, the C10, which is the other type of MCT, which has the, you know, the, is the, has the most potential to raise ketones besides C8, um, it's about three times more, right? And it's, so it's getting up to about 0 0.8 here, and it's about 0 0.2 or so here. So, you know, you can see there's quite a big difference, and you see also that there's the coconut peel oil here, and it's below the C10. And coconut oil, um, if you don't know, is made up of different uh, types of fatty acids, and that includes MCTs. And it's about 8% um, C8. So my suspicion is, not that there's been a specific study to separate this out, um, is that the C8 is the part that is boosting the ketones in the coconut oil to this low level, which is about 0 0.1, or actually it's a bit lower than, well, just about 0 0.1 here. Um, so that's the summary um, of these two charts. I hope that was really useful for you and uh, gives you more insights. And um, please just leave a comment below if you have any questions um, about this. Uh, I'll try and leave the... The, the citations to the studies below, depending on the social media, if it lets me. And also, um, if you like this video, please like it and please comment below to let me know uh, what you want, what type, what you want to look at, what other research studies and so on you might want to have a quick summary of and the quick takeaways. Thank you. Talk to you guys soon.